it's farmer Monica coming to you from your school garden and today I wanted to talk to you about the six plant parts that's right there's six parts of the plants can you count to six with six with me one two three four five six come on over and I'm gonna show you what they are so I have my little example set up right here and the first part of the plant are the roots. So the roots are underneath the soil and they provide stability and they bring up the nutrients and water. Um, and they are underneath the soil. So we don't often don't see them, but this plant, as you can see, is dead. And so I pulled it out of the soil so I could show you. So we have the roots. Then after that, we have the stem of the plant. So the stem is what moves around the water, the nutrients, and then the, also the energy that the plant creates from photosynthesis. So roots, stems, and then next we have the leaves. And this, the leaves are the place where the plant can photosynthesize and makes its energy. Can you say photosynthesis? One, two, three. Photosynthesis, good job. So we have roots, stems, leaves. Then next we have flowers. And flowers are the place where the plant creates its pollen. It looks really beautiful and it tries to attract pollinators so that it can produce fruits and seeds. Um, so the plant life cycle can continue. If you watched my last video, I talked about the plant life cycle and seeds are very important because that's what produces a new plant. So here is a broccoli plant, and you can see it's starting to form a little broccoli. And a cool little fact is that the broccoli we eat is actually the flower of the plant. Very neat, hey? So, roots, stem, leaves, flowers, fruits are the next one. So fruits are the fifth part of the plant and they are what happens once the flower is pollinated. Um, the, the, the plant will start producing a fruit and uh, there, there are a lot of fruit that we eat, right? So here's a tomato fruit, uh, we eat that. Here is a loofah fruit, we won't eat that. This is how loofah sponges are made. Um, so this is the fruit of the plant, although we wouldn't eat this one, but we eat, there are a lot of fruit that we do eat. Fruit of the plants are very important because inside of the fruit are where we find the seeds. And as I just mentioned before, that's how the plant um, regenerates. So you would take the seed, you would place it in the soil and the plant would sprout and the plant life cycle starts again. Here's a cool, uh, I cut open one of the tomatoes so you could see the little white seeds on the inside of the tomato. It's very neat. So we have, one more time, roots, stems, leaves, flowers. Look at those beautiful flowers. Fruits and seeds and those are the six plant parts and there's a fun little jingle it goes root stems leaves flowers fruits and seeds 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 do you want to sing with me one two three root stems leaves flowers fruits and seeds Root stems, leaves, flowers, roots, and seeds. Root stems, leaves, flowers, roots, and seeds. Root stems, leaves, flowers, roots, and seeds. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you have an awesome afternoon, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!